new chapter in trigonometry we are continuing trigonometry <coughs> i am going to start a new chapter in this that is transformation formula before i start this chapter i would like to speak to you a few words uh, i had a few calls one student called me and said that you have omitted one problem please do it this is from 15 sc 01 m mathematics paper april may 2017 April May 2017, sections B. Ah, uh, problem number twenty-two for five marks. The problem is like this: prove that cos seventeen degree plus sine seventeen degree. Divided by cos seventeen degree minus sine seventeen degree is equal to tan of sixty two degree. See, in mathematics, one problem can be solved in many ways. we can solve it in different ways provided you give some work to your brain you can do it in different ways now this is a problem for five marks and we have not done it we have not covered it in the earlier discussion so somebody has phoned me called me and pointed out sir you have not done this so now i am doing it so what i do here is see here i must get tan here here i have got sin cos like that now tan is sin by cos so what i will do is i will divide all the terms here there are four terms all of them i will divide by cos 70 take the left hand side take the left hand side divide all the terms by cos 70 so cos 17 degree by cos 17 degree Plus sine seventeen degree divided by cos seventeen degree divided by cos seventeen degree divided by cos seventeen degree minus sine seventeen degree divided by cos seventeen degree. Now this becomes this will be one. Cos seventeen by cos seventeen will be one. This becomes sine by cos is sine theta by cos theta is tan theta. So sine seventeen degree by cos seventeen degree will be tan seventeen degrees divided by one minus tan seventeen degree. Now what I do is. <coughs> See, this can be written as one plus tan seventeen degree divided by one minus one into tan seventeen degrees. If I multiply this by one, nothing is going to change. It remains as it is. Then what I do is one can be written as tan of forty five degree. You know, tan forty five degree is one. So tan forty five plus tan seventeen. This one I will keep as it is minus. For this one I can put tan forty five degree. Forty five degree into tan seventeen degree. Tan seventeen degree. Now here now it has come to the form tan a plus tan b. Tan A plus tan B divided by one minus tan A into tan B. 
Now tan A plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A tan B can be written as tan of A plus B that is tan of 45 plus 17 degree. Now you see tan of 45 plus 17, 45 plus 17 is 62 degree. So it becomes tan 62 degree that is the right hand side. So we have taken the left hand side and proved that it is equal to right hand side. These are the steps that we have to do. This may not be the only method. This is one method I suddenly got as soon as I saw this problem. This could be done like this. There may, it can be done in different ways. Now this is one of the methods. If you know the fundamentals correctly, then you can solve it in different methods, but you will get the same answer. You can get the same answer. So this is one of the methods by which it can be done. And I have done it like this. I hope you have understood this. <clears throat> then one student called me from a place and he informed me that I am speaking only in English, a fourth semester student, a fifth semester student, he is uh, now in fifth semester, not this subject, he called me and said you are not speaking in Kerala, we are students from villages who studied in Kerala medium and uh, we find it difficult to follow English medium. Nano Saha one call the Kala medium nalle tenth kalti do SSLC kalti do nineteen sixty sali right tenth pass mod do sixty four ali nine in nineteen sixty four ali tenth uh, SSLC pass mod do ah uh, nano sa the problem in the bandi dini as I we came to PUC after SSLC I entered PUC then we switched over to English medium. Uh, <laughs> that problem is not a problem. problem problem. That problem is overcome. That problem is not a problem. 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 Magu Yadu Bilita Bilita and Tat Nadia practice Mandra on their Sari Bilita Mele Sari Ogate. So Iga Munda new diploma at Mele BME Martiri Avagala English Nele Heltare, new Bari Beka Girudu English Nele, had an Ann Martha Rudu Bari mathematical papers, either Liao Bashel Yadruno, Anta Vetia Say and Agodilla Adrinda. Adana Nano, new English Nelly Buribeka Grudinda, and English Nelly Elta Tine, Idrali Antha, Betiasa and Agodina. Idana, a new Gamanda Litkondo, Nima English and Improved. English Matu Maths Chana Gidre, Avaga Engineering, Ibala, Sulubuagi Marbu. Yigina Diploma, Namakal, the Akal, the Diploma, compare Madidre, Holsidre. Iga Bala Sulva Marbudi, the semester scheme Nali, Hinde annual Varshikas Parikshavali Daga, Bala Kastaito, Iga Anta Kastaila, New Sulpa Shrama Patre, Ili Tergadiag Bodu. Then I, I called one of my very good friend, very good teacher, my colleague, he was my colleague, one Mr. Sri, Sri Dar. Uh, to give <coughs> some suggestions. Aurovandu Pustka, he told me to uh, buy a book by Tejram and uh, Pitambar Lal, trigonometry book, but I couldn't get it. Now, I am not going into very great details of trigonometry, I am just doing, my target is diploma students, ITA students, 10th students. I am doing some basic things. So once I do that, I will finish it. I am not going deep into it. 
So for us, I think for our students, what we are doing is enough. Now, <coughs> then I am going into transformation formula, which is transformation formula, which is very, very, very important in trigonometry. Transformation formula. Now, in the previous chapter, that is compound angle, study of compound angles, we have studied these relationships, we have got these relationships, that is sin of A plus B is equal to sin A cos B plus cos A sin B, right? We have done it, we have used it, I have told you this formula, then we have used sin of A minus B is equal to sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. So these two formulae already we have done in compound angles, trigonometric ratios of compound angles. Now, if I add these two equations, adding, what do I get? Now this will be sin A plus B, sin A plus B plus sin A minus B, A minus B. Now this will be sin A cos B plus sin A cos B will be 2 sin A cos B. And this gets cancelled because one is plus and the other one is minus. When you add, they get cancelled. So it is sin A plus B plus sin of A plus plus sin of A minus B. This is sum of two uh, sine functions. Now it has got transferred into product form. This is addition or subtraction form. It has got into the quotient, uh, the product form, multiplication form, from addition, here you have addition, here it has become a multiplication. So, addition problem can be converted into multiplication problem and multiplication problem can be converted into uh, addition problem. So, this is, uh, <coughs> these formulae are called as, this is called as a uh, transformation formula that is vice versa we can do it now same relationships if I now what I do is if I subtract these two subtracting this uh, subtracting uh, this from this now what happens if I subtract this becomes minus this becomes minus and this becomes plus. In subtraction, you know, uh, the lower ones change their sign. So what happens is, sign of A minus A plus B minus sign of A minus B. That is difference between two sign functions. It becomes product. Now this is same plus sin a cos b minus sin a cos b they cancel now what happens here is these are both plus so cos a sin b plus cos a sin b this is cos a sin b this is also cos a sin b both are plus positive so they get up get added up so it becomes 2 sorry, 2 cos a 2 cos a sin b sin b again here difference of two quantities this is the difference of two quantities has been converted into product of two quantities so <coughs> the first one i got is first relationship i got is sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b is equal to 2 sin a cos b 2 sin A cos B. The second one I got is sin of A plus B minus sin of A minus B is equal to 2 cos A sin B. 
So these two formula I got. Then <coughs> I will take similarly cos a plus b and cos a minus b. We will take cos a plus b, cos of a plus b we know is cos a cos b cos b minus sin a sin b right cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b <coughs> now if i add these two what happens adding adding i get cos of a plus b <coughs> plus cos of a minus b <coughs> will be equal to this gets cancelled so I get 2 cos A cos B. Again same thing. The uh, sum of two uh, trigonometric functions is getting converted into product of two trigonometric functions. So cos of A plus B. Cos of A plus B. Plus cos of A minus B is equal to 2 cos A cos B cos B this is the third relationship then subtracting subtracting I will write first I will write cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sin A sin B now cos of A plus B is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B now subtracting these two Subtracting this becomes minus, this becomes minus, this becomes plus, these two get cancelled. What I get is cos of A minus B, cos of A minus B minus cos of A plus B, A plus B is equal to 2 sin A sin B, 2 sin A sin B it becomes. Right cos of a minus b cos of a minus b again here difference cos of a plus b is equal to 2 sin a sin b right I got four equations here now they can be made still more simpler Simpli we can simplify them by taking let us take let a plus b be equal to c we will put a plus b is equal to c and c plus b uh, sorry, uh, a minus b a minus b a minus b is equal to D. I, I can put it like that. Then this becomes C, this becomes D. Like that. Now, if A plus B is equal to C and A minus B is equal to D, C, A will be equal to, A will be equal to, what? C plus D by 2. C plus D by 2. How? See, A plus B is equal to C. A minus B is equal to D. We have put A plus B as C and A minus B as A minus B as D. If you add 
what happens is this B, this B gets cancelled because one is positive and the other one is negative. A plus A is 2A is equal to C plus D. So A will be equal to C plus D by 2. Similarly, if you subtract, if you subtract this and this, what happens is A, A will get cancelled. 2B will be equal to C minus D. So B will be equal to C minus D. B will be equal to C minus D divided by 2. So if we put A plus B is equal to C and A minus B is equal to D, A will be equal to C plus D by 2 and B will be equal to C minus D by 2. Now, <coughs> substituting these values there, the first equation becomes sin C sin C sin of any angle plus sin D sin of another angle will be equal to 2 into sin of A that is sin of C plus D by 2 C plus D by 2 sin of C plus D sum of these two divided by 2 into cos cos C minus D by 2 difference between these two C and D difference divided by 2 so this is one equation equation number 1 then sin C next one sin of C A plus B is C minus sin D similarly will be equal to 2 cos C plus D by 2 2 cos C plus D by 2 into sin C minus D by 2 this is 2 then third one cos C plus cos D cos D will be equal to 2 cos A 2 cos C plus D by 2 into cos B cos C minus D by 2 this is third one then cos D cos D minus cos C right cos D minus cos C is equal to 2 sin A 2 sin of C plus B by 2 C plus B by 2 into sin sin C minus D by 2 now this can be changed into cos C minus cos D instead of cos D minus cos C I will we can put it as cos C minus cos D is equal to 2 sin C plus D by 2 into sin of uh, D minus C by 2 D minus C by 2 I can write it like this here if I change it. So this becomes fourth equation. These four equations are important and they enable us to solve different problems in higher trigonometry. Later on, these formulae will be used to solve the problems. These formulae are called as the transformation formulae. And these formulae help us to convert uh, addition or subtraction into multiplication or multiplication of uh, trigonometric functions into addition and subtraction. So these are very, very essential, these four formulae. You, they are called as transformation formulae. If you forget them also, you can derive them like I did it now. I, you can do it. Slowly, if you do it, you can get it always any any formula in mathematics if you 
uh, know the fundamentals, you can derive them even if you forget. Now, I will take up some problems, a few problems wherein we will be using these, these, <coughs> these, these uh, relationships. <coughs> I once again request you to uh, like, comment, share and subscribe the channel so that we can give you more and more videos about these subjects. Now, <coughs> in the previous clip, I uh, did these four relationships. I, uh, we, I, I told you how we get these four relationships. These relationships are important. Now, we are going to solve some problems using these relationships. Now, <coughs> I take up I take up uh, a problem from 15 SC 15 SC 01 M uh, question paper section A section A problem number no sorry section B problem number 24 24 this paper is of uh, April May April May 2018 I think that is the latest paper okay <clears throat> this is the problem prove that prove that uh, sign 5a sin 5a plus sin 3a sin 3a divided by sin 5a sin 5a minus sin 3a is equal to tan 4a tan 4a into cot a. This is to be proved for 5 marks. Now, what we do is normal, like normal problem. We take up the LHS. LHS is sin 5a plus sin 3a divided by sin 5a minus sin 3a. Now here sin c plus sin d is first formula. Sin of a particular angle plus sin of the sum of these two can be written as 2 into sin of c plus b that is 5a plus 3a divided by 2 into multiplied by cos c minus d c is 5a minus 3a divided by 2 right sin of c plus sin of d is equal to 2 times sin of c plus d by 2 into cos of c minus d by 2 divided by whole thing divided by this is the second one sin c minus sin d so 2 into cos c plus d cos of c is 5a plus 3a divided by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2 that is 5a minus 3a divided by 2. <coughs> now this gets reduced to this 2 2 gets cancelled. Sin 5a plus 3a is 8a. 8a by 2 is 4a. Sin 4a into cos 5a minus 3a is 2a. 2a divided by 2 is a. 
so cos a divided by here similarly cos 4a into sin a now sin 4a by cos 4a sin by cos is tan tan of 4a into cos a by sin a is cot a we have got the right hand side we have proved that the left hand side is equal to right hand side so this will fetch you four marks the five marks so those two formula i have used there you will get five marks from that next we'll do a few more problems on this i am keeping that as it is so that it becomes easy for me to explain <coughs> section c in the same paper section c a uh, problem number a uh, 31 31 prove that prove that sin 20 sin 40 sin 20 into sin 40 degree into sin 80 degree 80 degree is equal to root 3 by 8 root 3 by 8 now here what happens is we have to prove that this is equal to that again i'll take the left hand side left hand side will be equal to sin 20 degree into sin 40 degree into sin 80 degree this is the left hand side now here we have this i'll take sin of 40 into sin of 80 so i have to take this formula this formula so this sin c plus d by 2 c plus d is uh, 40 and that is 80 so half into cos c minus no i uh, will will take it this way will take it this way this sin 20 i will take as it is sin 20 degree sin 40 they can be done in different ways by using that also sin 40 can be written as sin of uh, 